Hello and welcome to another two minute runescape guide. Today we are tackling Mahogany Home. So let's get right into it. Um, what to talk about with the Mahogany Homes? It is cheap as dirt. It is a cheap as dirt uh, training method for construction. It's not as click intensive as normal construction training, but it is still uh, active. There's there's no way you could ever call this AFK, but as you can see here, I'm literally doing a run right here. I have a little plug-in to tell me you know, what needs to be repaired, but even if you don't have it, it's, it's just pretty obvious what needs to be changed. Um, we just go through here, we remove all the parts, and um, yeah, we get some good XP. But what? Why am I making this video if it's so easy? Well, you need a couple things to really make this efficient. So... Um, let's just go through the inventory setup. So first thing, inventory setup, you're going to want two to three bar steel bars, and then you're going to want a whole thing of teak planks, or just any planks, really. I like teak because I am so poor. Yes. So once you've done that, uh, that inventory setup, uh, well, actually, okay, I don't know. Do the inventory setup, whatever, right? But that's how you set up the inventory. Uh, th the other thing is you're really going to want to have, um... Uh, NPC contact unlocked, which means you're gonna need Dream Mentor. And so for me, oh, my cat's in trouble. I don't know what he's doing, but he's in trouble. Regardless, uh, I take the room pouch, I put some cosmic air astral. Now I can co contact uh, Amy. Just shift click this, that contact the last person I've talked to, which is always gonna be Amy in this context. Um, and basically, I get to immediately start a new contract. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to go back to Falador. So other than that, the the setup is just super simple. Uh, I have a Xerix Talisman because we're going to be teleporting to Hosidius. I have a Ring of Wealth because it's uh, a more efficient teleport to Falador than teleporting to Falador Hall. And it saves us uh, a inventory space. Not Falador Hall. Whatever. The center of Falador that the Falador teleport takes you to. And um, then I have a, I actually have the Imkando Hammer as well to save me an inventory space. And um, then we have a teleport to Ardoin because we're going to need to go there. And we have a teleport to Varak because we're going to need to go to Varak Square. And if you have... The medium diaries unlocked, you can use this as a teleport to your bank as well, because it's the, the Grand Exchange teleport that because you can go Grand Exchange or Varrock Center. Um, obviously like here, like we went Varrock Center and walked here. So um, yeah, I mean that that's basically the setup. That's what I would recommend. You don't have to mess around with unless you have like a crafting cape or anything, but if you have a crafting cape, you probably don't need this video. Um, I think you're just gonna be okay. So yeah, that's how to do mahogany home. Super simple, super simple. Uh, simple, cheap, all that stuff. Wow, this is just a crazy video today. And, um, yeah, we're gonna... Oh, this is another thing, too. That's what the steel bars are for. for. Things like sinks and stuff. That's why I'm not using it every single time. But, oh, the plank sack. Let's talk about this really quick. Holds 28 planks. Takes a whole bunch of... Uh, not too many, actually. Uh, but it takes points that you actually get from Mahogany Homes. Once you get this, your Mahogany Homes experience is gonna go from, like, eh, to, like, oh, yeah. Because, basically you're going to be able to like make runs last way 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 longer um and yeah that's that's it that's it um just go fast contact the spell and uh always make sure if you're low on run energy to talk to these people and get your uh tea because it'll restore your run energy so yeah that's the video